right, thanks Zach. I'm joined with Manny Haley this morning. And you're the spokesperson for the Lake Race 2013. What is that and when does it start? Well, Lake Race 2013, it's, uh, well, we call it NASCAR on the water. If you can imagine boats going anywhere from, at least with the extreme performance class, going anywhere from 110 to 140 miles an hour in the straightaway wow. on a four and a half mile oval course. It's a semi oval course. It's going to be set in front of the Bagnell Dam. Uh, it is, uh, it's an event that's hard to describe. It's almost something you have to be there to see, but there's such a rich history of powerboat racing, especially at the Lake of the Ozarks. It's, uh, it's just going to be a tremendous event. It is Saturday and Sunday, okay. and uh, we're having a lot of events this week. And actually, on my way up here this morning, I saw some race teams starting to come in. Well, I thought that's what I saw coming in. It was through the fog. Through so. the fog. <laughs> yeah, it was hard to see. But uh, it, it's, uh, it really is uh, turning in to be not only a lake-wide event, but mm -hmm. a nationwide event. Uh, we have a lot of teams coming in from different parts of the country. And uh, it's, it's going to be just a tremendous time for folks to see these tremendous boats race at the lake. And uh, Offshore Super Series is the sanctioning body. First time they've been back since 2009. And uh, probably the most exciting race or the race that I've been getting the most questions about is the pontoon race on Saturday. Now that's a race I could maybe <laughs> do. Well, maybe. No? Uh, yeah, well, when you think about pontoons, you think about just leisure boats. Right. These pontoons are not no. that. Okay. <laughs> Anywhere from 50 to 70 miles an hour in the straightaways. Wow. Uh, Playcraft Pontoons is uh, the sponsor of that race. And uh, actually, Jim and Carolyn Doris are two of the uh, most renowned pontoon racers in the country, and they are going to be racing against each other. The thing about the pontoon race, because it's OSS sanctioned, now it's the first ever sanctioned pontoon race anywhere in the world, uh -huh. number one. Number two, OSS is also tied with another power boating group called APBA. Because of the affiliation with APBA, the winner on Saturday will be an international Olympic champion. Whoa, it's quite the title. So I don't know if they get a medal. We, we've been getting a lot of questions about yeah. that, but they get something from the International Olympic if Committee. Nothing else yeah. bragging <laughs> I mean, exactly. that would be a cool title to have. Exactly. And on now that's, it's cool because the other classes all get money, mm -hmm. but uh, the pontoon race, it's bragging rights, but then also to be an Olympic champion. Yeah, quite the title for that <laughs> one. I think, yeah, I'd be pleased with that. About how many people or how many boats have registered? We have for the extreme performance class, which are the big boats, we have about seven teams coming in. And then the rest, uh, we'll know more tomorrow when we get to our driver's meeting because uh, the way this goes now, ever since the economy, uh, shall we say, fell off a little bit in 2007, 2008, a lot of these teams, uh, their drivers, their owners, they all do other things. Mm -hmm. And they decide maybe a week before, maybe last night, hey, let's go to the lake let's this weekend it. and race. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how many come in. But I think we're going to have a very good showing this weekend. Now, time-wise, when's the best time to come down? And where's the best spot to really look? <laughs> I mean, is it anywhere? Or is there a good spot for a finish line? Well, the, the race is set up from the Bangor Dam out to about the four and a half mile marker. That's where the course is set up. Mm -hmm. So anywhere, it's basically a natural stadium there around uh, Beavers at the Dam is the host facility. So there's spots there. Iguana Water Sports, which okay. is the neighbor there. There are mm -hmm. spots there. We will allow spectators on the dam on Saturday and Sunday. First time that's happened in 30 years. Wow. Uh, so there's going to be plenty of places to uh, watch. I've heard from a lot of residents down there that said they've got friends now that they didn't know they had that mm -hmm. want to come down and watch <laughs> the race. So yeah. I think there's, uh, there, there's all kinds of places. I know people are going to, there will be areas where people can anchor their boats as well okay. on the course, certain mm -hmm. parts of the course, not everywhere because of safety. Right. But uh, there's, uh, there's always uh, good spots. Now the racing starts at 12:10 on Saturday and just after noon on Sunday. So, anytime after I would say eight or nine o'clock, come on down. Start getting set up. Absolutely. Okay, and it's a great time to be at the lake anyway. Yes, right. <laughs> that as well. Well, thank you so much, and good luck at your event. Sounds like it's going to be a good time. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate the time. It. Yep, no problem.